This is an NBC News special report. Here is Rahema Ellis. Good afternoon, everyone. The California jury of six women and six men has reached a verdict today in the penalty phase of the Scott Peterson murder trial. We are about to find out if they will recommend death or life in prison without parole for Scott Peterson, convicted of murdering his pregnant wife. NBC News chief legal correspondent Dan Abrams has been following this case from the beginning, and he is outside the Redwood City Courthouse now live for us. Dan, will you walk us through what's about to happen? Well, we are going to soon find out if this jury recommends death or life in prison without the possibility of parole. Those are the only two options. Scott Peterson has already been convicted, and now the question is what will be his punishment? Once this jury makes that recommendation, the judge has very little discretion. If this jury recommends life in prison, that's it. He, he, Scott Peterson will get life in prison. But if this testimony from the defense witnesses, some 39 witnesses uh, took the stand for the defense. Uh, no, there wasn't. Uh, there was the courthouse. The, uh, the mood is, of course, tense, and there's a lot of anticipation here. Uh, also, this just a little while ago, we saw the parents all come in. Uh, we're told from a reporter in the courtroom that Mrs. Peterson looks white as a ghost at this point. So it's very tough. Entitled cause, fix the penalty at death, dated December 13th, 2004, four person number six. And number six, is that the unanimous verdict of the jury with respect? Jury number four? Yes. Jury number five? Yes. Jury number six? Yes. Jury number, number 12? Yes. Your Honor, the jury has been pulled. Same jury. And the other judges on this bench perform. <clears throat> um, I know it's a hard decision. The same jury that found Scott Peterson guilty of murdering his pregnant wife on November 12th, that verdict came in. Today, the jury has decided that Scott Peterson should be put to death. To clarify all of this, our legal correspondent, Dan Abrams, once again, we go back to you, Dan. This decision from the jury is a recommendation, isn't it? And is it now up to the judge to decide whether Peterson will actually be sentenced to death? Well, that's right, Rahima. There will be an official sentencing hearing in February, but uh, before being sent to another prison. But this jury has now recommended the death penalty unanimously for Scott Peterson. That means that they believe that what are called the aggravating factors, meaning the reasons to execute, so substantially outweigh the mitigating factors, the reasons not to execute. That was the legal standard, and all 12 of these jurors deciding uh, that Scott Peterson deserves to die. Uh, Dan, very quickly, can you tell us what the mood is outside of that courthouse right now? A much different uh, mood than we saw after the guilt phase. Very good. Dan Abrams, NBC News Chief Legal Correspondent, thank you very much. Again, to recap, this is a recommendation, and the final word on what will happen to Scott Peterson will come from the judge next February. But to recap, a California jury has decided that convicted murderer Scott Peterson should be put to death. More news later on NBC Nightly News tonight with Brian Williams on MSNBC on cable and on these NBC stations. I'm Brahima Ellis, NBC News, New York. Tom Brokaw.